Hey guys, welcome back again. Um, so on this topic that I've been on lately of like the proactive life versus the reactive life, you know, taking control of your life, planning out your life, um, listing the things that are important to you and doing that instead of, uh, you know, what the demands of all the things around you, the people and the unfinished business all over the place, right? Um, well, I've, I've been listening to some, some cool talks lately and um, one quote I heard is, take control of your destiny or someone else will. And isn't that the truth? We as a society love to sort of have input into other people's lives. I mean, right, right now I'm trying to have input into your life, right? Um, hopefully for the positive to in, inspire you to do what you want to do. Uh, but for the most part, we're like, want people to do for us right like you do things for me that will make my life easier so i can kind of kick back and and relax you know um so take control of your own destiny or other people will and they are more than happy to do that um but that kind of triggers a thought in me you know when you take control of your destiny um the community around you that's used to you uh, allowing them to kind of have some input and control that lights fires people get frustrated and all of a sudden they're like what the you know what the hell's going on here like we had a system and now you're breaking it and uh, so things will things will change it gets crazy I've experienced it in my own life for at several different times but one in particular was when I you know was really getting into some of this self-help stuff and I got a therapist and all this and all of a sudden people that were close to me were like really offended by me and frustrated with me and things and it's just like all I'm doing is trying to uh, uh, take care of my own stuff and uh, help myself understand why I do certain dumb things and where I got certain good strengths and all the, you know, I'm just trying to discover myself, self-awareness, you know, and have conversations about it, but it was offensive and not allowed by, you know, some people. So watch out for that. But, but also the fear of that is what prevents us from really going anywhere or doing anything new, right? Um, so I, I constantly hear about you know, from, from these millionaires and these life coaches and all these stuff, things that, that it's the risk takers. It's the one that are um, unafraid to fail, you know. They've gone out and failed so many times and then they finally hit it, right? They, they made it happen in one great success. And, uh, well, being um, unafraid of failure um, is the exact thing that Brene Brown in her book Daring Greatly, which I've been reading lately, um, that's what she talks about. Is like shame is what keeps us from daring greatly. Shame is what prevents us from just going out and making it happen. Um, and shame is the fear of failure. Even though people like Oprah say, you know, if you're open open to it, every failure is an opportunity for learning and growth. Which that sounds great, right? An opportunity for learning and growth. Like every opportunity for learning and growth sounds great until you say, oh, except it was a failure, right? Um, the failure is a scary word to, to people full of shame. Well, you've got to learn to shed off the shame so that you can take a risk. And whether you fail or succeed in that moment, it's a learning opportunity for your next trial and experiment, experiment right? your next attempt and eventually one of those attempts is going to hit and you're going to find you're going to still going to learn from that but you're going to uh, get your goal or you know whatever you're chasing so another thought I had with this is that you know we all get a, a thick skin or an, you know a certain capacity to deal with the tough stuff of our environment whatever we're used to so whether you're from some like ghetto, you know, you deal with those difficult issues that, that are there or you come from some, you know, super wealthy family and you've got to deal with the type of, um, you know, shame and, and perfection doctrine that you hear from the people around you there or, or whatever it is, you know, or if you're a farmer or whatever, you learn, you know, maybe the, the physical need to get out and work even if it's snowing. I remember when I was a stonemason, we would... Uh, try and build little tents, you know, with tarp 
hanging over the side of the roof over our scaffolding and stuff and put a heater in there to try and stay warm but we before we could do that we had to dig the snow away from the house and put up scaffolding if you've ever touched metal in the early morning of a frost bit you know snowy morning it like your your gloves will like your hands will freeze like to the to the bars so you're dealing with this you know your hands are freezing you're trying to build the scaffolding trying to tack a tarp up there you're trying to get everything put together so you can build this little hut and then you get in there and it's like oh you take your jacket off and you're in this nice little tent you know but every time it, you just get used to working in the harsh environment because that's that's what you, you're good at and, I, and in fact during that you know one of those years that I was doing it my boss who was my uncle took us uh, his employees up to Highland Park uh, or Island Park I believe it's called up by you know by Yellowstone and uh, we enjoy ourselves snowmobiling and snowmobiling and all this stuff and and uh, my aunt was like how are you guys doing this without gloves she could not believe that we weren't all just dying and it all it occurred to us like well, we do this every day like this is awesome compared to grabbing the metal hammers and the metal scaffolding and everything you know like we we had built up some endurance to the cold and the harsh weather and our on our bare hands and stuff so you the point is i'm getting all over the place the point is you adapt you learn to deal with the tough stuff of your environment but as you start to change all of a sudden you're in a new environment and you're dealing with new stuff and that fear of like oh man what kind of punch is going to come now right like Brene Brown said after her Houston talk um, on the TED talks she was very vulnerable and um, she was like what if so many people see this, this is going to be so terrible right and she did get a bunch of negative feedback but she also got a ton, a ton of positive feedback, which has launched her career into a whole new thing where she speaks at, you know, Fortune 500 companies and all kinds of different events and self-building things. And she's this authority on shame and vulnerability, all this stuff. Like her world has changed because she she went for it and she took some punches. And now a few years later, she is good at dealing with that, too. And, and so as you grow, you'll, you'll come into a spot where it's kind of like, oh man, the, the difficulties are unknown. And when you get hit, it might hurt. But after that, you start learning like, okay, it didn't hurt that bad, not that bad. And now all of a sudden you start learning how to deal with it. And you can look at it like, oh, it's no big deal. It's the same as trying to put up my scaffolding in the snow. It's like no big deal, right? Um, it's... It's nothing compared to the ghetto where you came from or, you know, wherever it is, um, you, you learn this capacity. So um, anyway, just a few thoughts of, of like, you know, taking control of your life. Some of the things that might come out of it uh, in the negative way and the things you're going to have to deal with. But the, the potential to achieve your goal and grow and learn and become like so many of these people that, you know, we listen to and think man if i could be like them right um so anyway a few thoughts there head over to the website find tons of information about you know success in health wealth and happiness um follow uh follow us on twitter bronson wilkes and um subscribe to the channel here and uh follow our facebook page the lifestyle of the healthy wealthy and happy uh thanks for stopping by guys we'll talk to you soon